suspecting that she had indulged in illicit love, and as he was a just man, he wished to put her away secretly, leaving the judgment unto him who knoweth all things, and who hath taught us to cry to him. Rejoice, zealot of chastity, rejoice, O Israel, Israelite, in whom there is no Rejoice, thou who art good of heart. Rejoice, thou who art meek of demeanor. Rejoice, thou who didst place all thy trust in God. Rejoice, thou who dost entrust thyself and others to his providence. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Stilling the tempest of the chaste Joseph's doubting thoughts, the angel disclosed to him the mystery of the birth of the Son of God, the Savior of the world from the unwed Mary. For he said, Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And to him do we all cry, Alleluia. Having heard in the scriptures of the Lord, who said, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, Emmanuel, thou didst believe that what was told thee by the angel, O righteous Joseph, and thou didst take Mary into thine own house like a sealed book, wherein the word was inscribed by the finger of the Father, and like a servant, its weight upon her with awe and zeal. Wherefore, we cry out to thee. Rejoice, for thou didst set thy heart to understand the law of God. Rejoice, for thou didst open thy mind to receive the mysteries of God. Rejoice, for ahead of all men Thou wast not safe to know the great mystery of piety, that God hath appeared upon earth. Rejoice, for thou didst perceive his coming to be for the salvation of men from their sins. Rejoice, for without doubting thou didst believe what was revealed to thee. Rejoice, for thy faith was accounted unto thee as righteousness. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, 
ready helper and intercessor for our souls, taking the divinely chosen maiden unto thy home. O blessed Joseph, thou didst love her as thy betrothed, didst honor her as the most holy virgin and mother of the Savior of the world, and didst minister unto her with awe and reverence, striving with all thy soul to keep all that was written in the law and the prophets. And with Mary thou didst cry out to God, Alleluia. Beholding in the manger the Bethlehem, the star that shone forth from Jacob, thou wast first to adore the newborn. And when heaven offered him a star, the angels hymned thee, the shepherds their witness, and the magi worship in the gifts. Thou, O righteous Joseph, didst offer thy whole self as a gift to the Lord, dedicating thy life, care, and labors to his service. Wherefore, we cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who before all others didst behold the descent to earth of the never-setting Son of Righteousness. Rejoice, first witness and servant on earth of the incarnate Son of God, who was begotten of the Father before the ages. Rejoice, earthly carpenter, who was vouchsafed to be called the Father of the heavenly architect. Rejoice, protector and guardian of the infant, whom the ranks of angels serve with fear. Rejoice, reverend servant of the Mother of God, the Word. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Him who was foretold by the law and the prophets, didst thou circumcise as a male child on the eighth day, and thou gavest him the name Jesus, which was preserved in the council of the Trinity. Like a precious pearl brought forth from the treasuries of heaven for revelation to all peoples. O Joseph, whereby having astonished the angels, Gladdened men terrify the demons, and render the whole world fragrant as the sweet-smelling myrrh. Thou didst cry out to God, Alleluia. He who in the infant Jesus shone forth upon thee, as prophesied by Simeon, the light of revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of the people Israel, was straightway covered by a cloud of tribulation, O righteous Joseph. For the nation was in turmoil, Herod raged, seeking the life of the infant. And it was foretold that a sword would pierce the heart of his mother, that thy faith and patience might be revealed to all. Wherefore we cry out to thee as to one steadfast in patience and unshaken in faith. Rejoice, for like gold in the crucible wast thou continually purified by trials. Rejoice, thou who wast humble in joy and forbearing amid sorrows. Rejoice, thou who wast ever faithful to the mysteries entrusted to thee. 
Rejoice, thou who wast guided by faith, as by a star in the dark ways of life. Rejoice, thou who didst trust in God, as an anchor amidst the tempests of life's voyage. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Desiring to save from the malice of Herod, him who had come to save the world. O wondrous Joseph, thou didst not question the angel who commanded thee to flee into Egypt, saying, Could he who saved others not save himself? But being a man of faith, like a new Abraham, ever ready for obedience, giving no thought to the rigors of the journey, nor considering the time of return, thou didst straight away betake thyself to Egypt with Mary and the babe. Joyously crying out to God, Alleluia. In Egypt thou wast shown to be a new Joseph, greater than the patriarch of old, who saved the people of Egypt from famine. For thou didst save from death the Savior of the world, and didst offer unto the people of Egypt who were starving amid the famine of godlessness, the bread of life. And thou didst sow the seed of eternal life, whence a wondrous harvest sprang forth in the deserts of Egypt. Therefore we cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who with joy didst endure the sorrows and labors for Christ's sake along the way. Rejoice, guardian of the infant Jesus, who once guided Israel in the wilderness with a pillar of fire and a cloud. Rejoice, nourisher of him who fed his people with manna. Rejoice, thou who didst bear in thy arms the creator and sustainer of all creation. Rejoice, thou that didst save from the malice of Herod, him who once saved the people of God from bitter bondage to Pharaoh. Rejoice, thou who didst show forth for Egypt the grace of adoption instead of slavery. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Having beheld the awesome wonder that in Jesus God was born in the flesh as was foretold, and laid in a manger as a babe. The Virgin Mother, the angels giving glory, and the circumcision, the coming of the Magi from the East, to worship Him with gifts, the flight from Herod's madness into Egypt, the salvation of all men, and the light of the Gentiles, and the sword that pierced the heart of her who gave Him birth. As Simeon said, 
Thou didst recognize him as true God and true man, and thou didst therefore cry to him, Alleluia. Having dedicated thyself entirely to God, who called forth his Son out of Egypt by his angel, thou didst follow his command, and madest thine own abode with Jesus and his mother in Nazareth, that what was spoken by the prophet concerning him might be fulfilled, he shall be called a Nazarene. Therefore, wherefore we cry out to thee as a faithful servant of God. Rejoice, thou who do this work in harmony with the will of God. Rejoice, thou who didst take part in the divine economy. Rejoice, thou who dost ever converse with the angels. Rejoice, thou who on earth was dedicated to the profundity of the mysteries of heaven. Rejoice, thou who didst hearken to the prophet's prophecies concerning Jesus. Rejoice, thou who didst reverently keep all these in the depths of thine heart. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Every generation of heaven, earth, and the nethermost parts of the earth doth bow down at the name of Jesus. And to thee, O wondrous Joseph, was the child Jesus obedient as to his Father. Wherefore, marveling at the Lord's great condescension toward thee, we cry out to him, Alleluia. The most eloquent of orators are at a loss as how to praise thee fittingly, O righteous Joseph, the mother of God, the queen of heaven and earth, called thee her Lord, the incarnate Son of God, called thee Father, and thy home on earth was a habitation of heavenly sanctity, for therein dwelt the king of heaven and earth, Wherefore, we humbly cry out to thee. Rejoice, chosen of God, who preserved the tabernacle of heavenly sanctity. Rejoice, wondrous carpenter, in whose home the creator of heaven and earth made his abode. Rejoice, nourisher and guardian of the child Jesus, who as God doth bestow existence upon all creatures, and taketh thought for all the world, visible and invisible. Rejoice, for on earth thou wast not saved, to behold the Son of God face to face, to hold him in thy arms and to kiss him. Rejoice, for even after thy departure unto the heavenly mansions, thou dost continually bless the King of glory and glorify him with the Father and the Holy Spirit in the light of his countenance. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Thou art able, save all who have recourse to thine intercession and aid, 
storms of the temptations, misfortunes, and the sorrows of life, cry aloud to thee. Rejoice, our ready helper of in perils and want. Rejoice, mighty intercessor for us before God. Rejoice, our steadfast hope amidst the tempest of turmoil and doubt. Rejoice, ye deliverance from the slanders of men. Rejoice, nourisher of him who sustaineth all by the word of his power. Rejoice, thou who dost deliver us from spiritual famine and from every tribulation. Rejoice, O my jealous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. A most compassionate hymn do we offer unto thee, O divinely wise Joseph, and we entreat thee, as thou didst keep the Lord Christ himself from the harm and affliction. So by thy mediation before him, do thou preserve his holy orthodox church, from every assault by enemies, visible and invisible, and protect our native land from all sedition, that leading a peaceful and tranquil life, we may cry out to God, Behold the twelve-year-old Christ child, the <clears throat> child Jesus, the light bestowing lamp that hath appeared to those in the darkness of ignorance, granting the light of true knowledge unto the teachers of the law of God, and revealing the mystery of his great ministry in accordance with the design of the Heavenly Father, we therefore cry out to thee. Rejoice, faithful keeper of the law of thy fathers. Rejoice, for being zealous in keeping the law, thou didst also lead the child Jesus to the house of the heavenly Father. Rejoice, for when the child Jesus remained in Jerusalem, like Father thou didst grieve with his mother, thinking that he was with friends. Rejoice, for thou didst seek him amongst friends and relatives, and not finding him. Didst return to Jerusalem, where after three days thou didst discover him in the temple, sitting amongst the teachers, listening to them and questioning them. Rejoice, for thou didst hear the revelation of mysteries when the child Jesus said, Knew ye not that I must be about my father's business? 
Rejoice, thou who didst behold and wast witness that Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Seeing the child Jesus increase in favor with God and man, and in stature of body and wisdom, thou didst lay up all these things in thy heart, by the faithful servant keeping secret the treasure entrusted to him, until the day when all believers began to cry to him, as God and Savior of the world, Hallelujah. In thee, thy labors and struggles, we also glorify thy blessed repose. For in the arms of God the Word and his Holy Mother, thou didst sweetly rest from thy labors, O righteous Joseph, having undoubting belief in the blessed eternity. Wherefore, we cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who wast faithful in a great task. Rejoice, thou who wast therefore accounted worthy of the greatest honor by God. Rejoice, thou who on earth wast wed to the glory and adornment of heaven. Rejoice, thou who was permitted to depart in peace unto the age to come, by the Father of the age to come. Rejoice, thou who didst proclaim the great joy to David. Rejoice, thou who didst bear all, bear to all in Hades, the tidings that Christ was come to free and save the human race. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. O holy and righteous Joseph, Accept this our meager supplication, and through thy mighty mediation before Christ God, entreat him to make us by his grace firm and steadfast in the orthodox faith, zealous and undaunted in keeping of his commandments, and that he grant all that is profitable for our temporal and eternal life to us who cry to him. Alleluia. Preserving the mystery of the birth of God the Word by the all-immaculate virgin, which is incomprehensible even to the angels, from the slander of men and the wiles of the devil, God chose thee, O righteous Joseph, a lowly carpenter, to be protector and witness to the virginity of the all-holy Mary, wherefore glorifying thee as a chosen initiate of the mysteries of God, we cry to thee. Rejoice, honored scion of the root of Jesse. Rejoice, thou who wast adorned with royal majesty. Rejoice, thou who by lack of earthly things didst acquire spiritual wealth. Rejoice, thou who through obscurity didst obtain everlasting glory. Rejoice, thou who art far more glorious than kings. Rejoice, thou who art more righteous 
than the patriarchs and forefathers. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. O righteous Joseph, chosen protector of the most holy Virgin Mary, instructor and nurturer of the God-man, glorifying the service to the ineffable mystery of the incarnation of God the Word. We dedicate hymns of praise to Thee, standing now before the throne of Christ our God, and possessed a great boldness before him. Pray for us who cry out to thee. Rejoice, O righteous Joseph, ready helper and intercessor for our souls. Pray together, spoken, the prayer to the holy and righteous Joseph, the betrothed. I wanted to mention, uh, you hear references to the Orthodox faith and the Orthodox Church. Uh, our church in its roots is Eastern Orthodox, but we are in communion with the, with the Pope of Rome. Uh, and so we're in communion with the whole Catholic Church. So in our prayers, oftentimes in our services, you'll see references to the Orthodox Church. In your mind, you could think the Orthodox Catholic Church, because that's what we are. So uh, don't worry about saying Orthodox Church or Orthodox. Um, so what we'll do, uh, uh, we'll say this, um, this prayer together, and then afterwards I would invite um, the, the person who plays the music uh, on the piano maybe to, to pray a nice uh, hymn while uh, we come forward and venerate the holy icon. So in our tradition, uh, icons aren't just meant to be seen, they're also meant to be kissed. Uh, and touched and so forth, but during our time of COVID, uh, we are simply uh, bowing in veneration, uh, making the sign of the cross, or so whatever sign you'd like to give uh, to the icon. This is an icon, by the way, that is our traveling parish icon, uh, so we we make use of the icon uh, during the year, and we, we hand out the octopus to all of our families, and they pray the octopus at home uh, with, the, with the icon. So, uh, so the parish, uh, Give me permission to bring it here today, so we have all here with you today. So we'll say the prayer together. O holy and righteous Joseph, while yet on earth thou didst have boldness before the Son of God, who was well pleased to call thee his father, in that thou wast the betrothed of his mother, and to be obedient unto thee. We believe that thou hast dwelt now in the heavenly mansions with the choirs of the righteous. Thou art hearkened to in all that thou dost request of our God and Savior. Wherefore, fleeing to thy protection and defense, we beg and humbly entreat thee, as thou thyself wast delivered from a storm of downing gods, so also deliver us who are tempest-tossed by the waves of confusion and passions, as thou hast shield the all-immaculate virgin from the slanders of men, so shield us from all virulent calumny, as thou didst keep the incarnate Lord from harm and affliction. So also with thy defense preserve his Orthodox Church, and all of us from all tribulation and harm. Thou knowest, O Saint of God, that even the Son of God had bodily needs in the days of his incarnation, and thou dost attend unto them. Wherefore, we beseech thee, tend thou to our temporal needs through thine intercession, granting us every good thing which is needful in this life. Especially do we entreat thee to intercede that we may receive remission of our sins from him who was called thy Son, the only begotten Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, and that we may be worthy to inherit the kingdom of heaven, that abiding with thee in the heavenly mansions, we may ever glorify the one God in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. So we can have our music ministry play some, uh, just a quiet hymn while we come forward to venerate the Holy Icon. Thank you.
You've been exposed to a very rare opportunity. Legitimately, during the life of Joseph, his obedience, his obedience, and he had a lot of plans for his wife, and he had a lot of plans for his son. And as you just prayerfully prayed and chanted, you learned how he had to adjust so often, so often, so often. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to adjust a little bit. We're going to take a break in just a moment. But I'd like to clarify something that was clarified to me about a plenary indulgence. Father Menes remarked that it was his intention that all of you would get to reconciliation today for this weekend. Plenary indulgence is a gift granted to the successor of St. Peter. And it's the authority of the Pope to be able to do that. When we sin, we take on guilt, but we also impurify our hearts. When you go to confession, the guilt is removed. The impurity in the heart is not, because you've made it impure. And that's what purgatory is all about, is restoring your soul because you will be perfect when you go to heaven. So you can't have any of the stuff in your own. Okay? What a plenary indulgence allows you to do is to purify your heart to wholeness. That's what you gain today. Which means you start with a clean slate from now on. Okay? So it's really a big, big deal. And there are generally some requirements to obtain it. And one of them is what you've just done. You've venerated St. Joseph. The second is that you go to reconciliation sometime in the next 20 days. The third is you receive Holy Communion sometime in the next 30 days. The fourth is you pray the Our Father and the Hail Mary for the intention of the Pope. So we're going to do that right now so we can get that taken care of. Okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord, 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 Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fifth requirement is that you have the intention to change those triggers. We sin because something triggers it. And unless we have the intent that we would no longer want those triggers to work, then they stay with us and that's why it happens again. So you just make the intent, as best you can, to give those triggers up to God. Okay? So my prayer? Confession? Communion. We, we just prayed for the Pope. The trigger, get rid of those. Did I miss something? There's a fifth one. Oh, we've already done it. The veneration of St. Joseph. So the change in schedule is we're going to take about a 15 minute break now. Five minutes. Did I tell you we were going to be flexible? So you have five minutes, and then we'll come back in here, and Father Menace will give us his talk. Okay? And then Father. Daniel needs to uh, really be on time, so that's what we'll start the uh, service at 10.30. So please be back here within, maybe it's four minutes now, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>